this right here look at this thing this is a screen protector user manual wall charger and usb type c let's remove this whoa this thing is big and heavy now on the back of it i can see that there's a folio type case here we can click down onto it let's look at this thing it's not the thinnest laptop you can see that there's two tones there's a glass aluminum and for the front we do have some large bezels looks like a power and volume buttons there I will press it in a little bit. And on the side, we have a headphone jack, USB-C port, and another USB-A port. There's nothing on this other side. There is a left and right slots. Those slots are so that you could put these in together. And there's also front-facing speakers on both sides so you get it firing at you. So here we go. Lift this up. As you can see here, it has different levels where you can literally put it where you want to. It's a really tight flap so it'll keep itself upright. So when you undo this, right now the keyboard is up to the glass, but you can spread it out so you can have more space between it. And I'm gonna give this a power here. I'm gonna hold down. And there's also a screen protector and this is the default you can leave that on or take it off this is a full touch screen so you can see five points shows you there five there does it do 10 the keyboard is already working not having to power it up let me go through all the setup and while i hold this up like this i am going to say that this is pretty sharp it is kind of chamfered on the side but on this side it's a little bit sharper but once it's like flattened you can't even feel that sharpness anymore and we are booted up with windows let's dim this down a little bit control let's go back to zero and let's just give it a little bit of boost there we go hopefully that's not too bad for my camera now this camera shows you that i have to look down and kind of sideways and at this angle i can still see it fine if i would use it flat on the table like this i can still view everything just fine there's the scale and the resolution is recommended right there that's the highest 2560 by 1440p so this is a 2k display but let's go into about this device here and show you that it's running the intel celeron and it has six gigs of ram click onto the windows we got everything there it pops up everything is fast obviously it's a brand new device here and let's put it into tablet mode so tablet mode here we go tap out so rather than having to use a mouse cursor to click things or double click you can just click on simple things like this it's technically not really download it's just there for you to be like oh i do want to play it so then you do download it so while that's doing that press on the home button here and it does go home so you can see right back to where it was and then we are also on a power save mode so it's 19 percent so it's running at its worst performance to save battery and we could obviously boost it to run even better at a higher best performance it's cortana there's your multi window so if you have different things open you can do multi split so if you wanted to split it here there's that and then you have that so you have different applications here as it looks and now let's change it off of tablet mode and we will see that it goes into windows so we have windows here click on that click on that you can see your minimizings come open now that it does have those gestures out of here just to see what else it has candy crush let's launch it so once we want to get into the game obviously this is a tutorial now the speaker is not bad on this either let's go home goes home now let's bring this back out and click back into it okay let's go here okay let's go right back to candy crush nice it's performing very well go home everything's reacting how it should be there's pins there's all the apps so we can see all our apps that we have installed it's a clean windows install there's no bloatware that i see anywhere the folio case here just snaps it kickstand it and we're back into business obviously you have your mouse control here so that is very accurate as well it's a 2k display so you're getting a super vibrant display here so you're not going to be disappointed at all with the quality of this screen it's responsive now let me go into go to youtube okay i'm trying to do all this before the battery dies we're at 12 percent it's the conventional standard for us so that's what it sounds like right top. now we got the all seen 360 i so i'm going to do the three so finger swipe showing you in this form go back right into here. here but you could always go into so that's playing in the background let's do three finger go right back someone in there as you can see and i'm going to exit the this there we go everything to me feels like a good great experience this is going to be nice to carry on for doing for school i don't think this is going to be a gaming machine okay now let me show you some gameplay here good morning this is Carla Montes coming at you live. 
So here's the game called Dead Rivals, and I'm gonna mention again, the speakers aren't gonna blow you away, but for the most part, I can still enjoy what's happening. It is a little bit jumpy, but you can still navigate. Can you use the keyboard? Yes, you can, as you can see here. Now I'm gonna plug in my mouse here. And you can see that the mouse cursor is here, so you can use your mouse with this type of gaming here. Obviously get away from the spinnings. So yeah, just showing you a quick gameplay that it's a little stuttery, it's not meant for gaming. Don't expect to play Fortnite or other heavier titles like that. And another thing to mention, even though I told you this isn't for gaming, it's not going to be a big deal if you're not wanting to game on this, but my controller would not connect to this Windows PC. But again, you should not get this laptop for gaming, so never mind this. In a sense, the 10,000 mAh battery supposed to last six hours. I got around four and a half hours of use and that's just what I'm doing. It could maybe get a lot more if you're using it differently. But four and a half hours on full performance is actually not bad. If I put it in power save, I could probably get the six hours. Now it's definitely not the smooth Windows tablet PC that I've been playing with, but it is doing its job. So yeah, my experience with this has been subpar. It's not the greatest machine. I'm not gonna edit on it. I'm not gonna game on it. But if you wanna do browsing, YouTubing, some kind of documents for school. So if you buy this, it's because you want the Surface Book style, but you don't wanna have the Chromebook experience. You get the Windows tablet PC all in one. Just snaps just like that. Fold it, put it in your bag, and you're good to go. This is definitely not for everybody. Go into the camera. And this is another situation where you're probably not gonna be using this for making professional video calls. It's just there in case you need it. Obviously, I'm in a low light situation, so it gets a little bit better when there's more light. So anyways, I wouldn't expect you to use this to record, just to use some kind of Skype or some kind of video chat that I could work. So here we are looking at it online. It says that it's currently unavailable, but as soon as I'll post a video, it should be available. And also something to mention that even though it is USB-C charging, you have to use the charger it came with in order to charge it. So that's something important to mention. But on the website, this is all it says. You can look at it yourself as always. Every product that I review, do some more research. This has six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of ROM, Windows 10. So yeah, if you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Later.